We want to check in now with our Angela Rozier, who is down south. Hey, Ange, how are things looking there? Hey, Felicia, looking fine right now. You know, they're expecting this to be a very busy day. Um, I can tell you there have been no incidents, no major delays to report right now, no major delays. As a matter of fact, you can look behind me and see that the crowd is still here. It's going to be busy. They're expecting a very busy Thanksgiving week. Um, they're also saying, of course, that means that they're going to be reminding travelers to arrive early and to check the airport social media posts for any updates about any possible delays. Now, speaking of delays, we got a chance to talk to an aviation attorney who's also a former pilot, Navy pilot. He tells us with air travel delays are possible. Now, passengers we talked to admit they were concerned, but pleasantly surprised. Because of volume on this, you know, Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Also, if weather impacts any part of the U.S., that can have a cascading effect and affect the places where there isn't any weather where it's bright and sunny in, in South Florida. I was, I, I was telling my husband, I'm like, oh my God, I kept seeing on the news that yeah. the airport was like crazy and chaotic, but it actually turned out fine. That's nice. That's a Dugan family. They're visiting from Boston here in Fort Lauderdale. Now they hope to enjoy some of our sun before heading back after the holidays. Now again, they are expecting some 760,000 travelers this holiday season. Um, that's between Tuesday and Monday of next week. And that's also a 10% increase from last year.